What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to build an affiliate marketing website using WordPress with Hostinger as the host. And even if you're not planning on making an affiliate site specifically, everything I'm about to walk through works for pretty much any kind of WordPress site blogs, portfolios, business sites, you name it. I'm gonna take you through the full setup from start to finish so you can actually see how everything connects and how it all works together. Now, quick heads up before we jump in, this video is sponsored by Hostinger and I've got a site starters coupon linked in the description that gives you an extra 10% off on top of whatever deal is already running. I do use Hostinger daily myself. So what you're seeing here is my real workflow, but let's get into it. Now, once you log into your Hostinger account, you're gonna land on the main dashboard. And from there, head over to the left menu, click on websites, and then on the right, you're gonna see add website. Open that up and you're gonna get a few options. The only one we need is WordPress. Next, you create your WordPress login details, if you haven't already. Nothing complicated, just fill it out and move on. After that, Hostinger asks if you want to use the AI or go with pre-built websites and themes. We're choosing the pre-built option since that drops us straight into normal WordPress. Go ahead and click next. You're gonna see a bunch of templates here. Now, we're not actually going to use any of them, so just pick one to get past this step. Hostinger might also suggest a few plugins. You can leave everything as is and just click next. We'll add our own plugins later on. After that, you will be asked to choose a domain. For now, just use the temporary domain that comes with your Hostinger plan and click use temporary domain. WordPress will start installing and once it's done, you'll be taken straight into WordPress with a preview of the template that you picked. We're not keeping it, so just go to the top and click finish setup. All right, now from here, we are at the WordPress dashboard and the first thing we need to do is install a few essentials. Before anything else, make sure Astra is installed. If you are using a newer version of WordPress, it usually is by default. Now on my site, you can already see Astra is active. If it is not installed on yours, do not worry. I will show you how to install it along with the other plugins that we need. Go down to plugins and click add plugin. On the right hand side, search for Astra. You want the main Astra theme, not widgets or extras, just Astra itself. Click install now and then activate. Now, if you look down here, you will also see starter templates. Install and activate that as well. At this point, you have two out of the three things that we need. The reason we install both is pretty simple. Astra gives us the structure of the site, meaning the header, the footer, and overall layout engine. Starter templates give us ready-made designs, so we are not starting from a blank page. The third thing we want to install is Elementor. Astra handles the theme, but Elementor makes editing significantly easier by letting you drag elements around and place things exactly where you want them. Install and activate Elementor as well. Now, once all three are installed, go back to Installed Plugins and find Starter Templates, then click Get Started. From here, you choose a template. Keep in mind that some templates are premium, so if you are not planning on paying for a theme, avoid those. I am going to use the Earth-themed template here, but it honestly does not matter which one that you choose. This is just to illustrate the process. You will see options to change fonts and color palettes, but do not worry about that at the moment. We can customize all of that later. Just go ahead and click continue. Next, you can select features. This part is actually very useful. If you plan on selling products, you can enable e-commerce tools here. Choose what you need and click continue. After that, you're gonna be asked for some basic information like your name, who the site is for, and your experience level. Nothing personal or complicated. Since we are doing this together, I'm gonna to walk you through everything anyway. Now, once you're done, click submit and build my website and let it do its thing. All right, so after the template finishes importing, you're gonna see a preview of your site. You can look around if you want, but to start editing, go to the top and click edit page. This brings you into the default editor, which can feel a little confusing at first. You're gonna see blocks, but it is not always obvious where they go or how everything fits together. This is exactly why we installed Elementor. So instead of dealing with this, click edit with Elementor. Now, before we customize anything, let me give you a quick layout of how Elementor works. On the left side, you have all of your elements, which are your blocks and your widgets. This is really all you need to build a good looking site. Pro elements exist, but you don't need them right now. On the right side, you'll see a live preview of your site. The page is divided into sections, columns, and elements. A section is usually defined by its background. For example, 
The mountain image at the top is one section. The white area below it is another section, and so on. Inside each section, you have columns, and inside columns, you have elements like text, images, and buttons. If you want to add something, like a button, you just drag it from the left and place it where you want it. You're going to see a colored outline showing you exactly where it will land. This is important because if you rush it, things can end up in the wrong place. Take a second and make sure the outline is where you want it before dropping anything. Now, once the button is placed, you can customize it from the left side. Content lets you change the text. Style controls colors and fonts. And advanced exists, but you really don't need that right now. At the top of the page, you can switch between desktop, tablet, and mobile views to see how your site looks on different devices. If you do want to see what visitors see, click the eye icon and choose preview changes. This removes the Elementor interface and shows you the site as a normal visitor would see it. If your browser lags a bit, that's normal. The important part is seeing the clean version of your site without the builder clutter. Now, let us edit something real. Click on an image, then on the left side, choose image. Upload an image from your file, select it, and it will appear on the site. For text, click the text block and change the title to something like Winter Care for House Plants. Do the same for the description text. Now to adjust sizing, go to style. You can change typography, font size, and color here. There are multiple ways to resize text, so use whatever feels easiest for you. Now buttons work the same way. Change the text, then add a link later once your blog post exists. You can also change the button color, font, and alignment from the style tab. Once you do this a few times, it becomes repetitive, but in a good way. You start moving faster because the rules never change. Next, let us change the background image at the top. Click the six dots at the top of the section and choose Edit Container. Go to Style, then Image, and then choose a new image. Upload one from your files and select it. If the image positioning looks off, go to Position and Experiment. Every image is different, so try Center, Top, Bottom, Left or Right until it looks just right. For this one, the bottom left works best. Now, I want to show you anchors. An anchor lets a button scroll the user to another part of the same page. To do this, search for anchor in the elements panel and add one. Name it something like anchor one and publish your changes. Then go back to your button and in the link field, type anchor one. When you click the button, it will jump directly to where the anchor is placed. Now, let us move on to creating a blog post. Go back to the WordPress dashboard by clicking exit to WordPress from the top left. Go to post and then all post. WordPress usually does create a few default posts, so select all of them, choose move the trash from the bulk actions and apply it. Then click add post, set the title to winter care for house plants and click publish, then click edit with Elementor. Now, add a background image at the top, the same way we did on the home page. Adjust the height and the image position until it looks right. Narrow images do take more trial and error, so feel free to manually adjust the position until you see enough of the plants. All right, under the image, add a heading with the same title, change the text color to black, and add a spacer between the image and the heading. Reduce the spacing slightly so it does feel clean. Preview the page and tighten it if there is too much empty space. Small changes do go a long way. Now, for the content layout, use a two column structure Add text on one side and an image on the other. Adjust the image height, object fit, and position until it looks balanced. Now below that, add a single text block for more content. Then repeat the two column layout, but reverse it so the image and the text swap sides. This process becomes repetitive, but that is a good thing. Now once you are comfortable, you're gonna move very quickly. All right, after adding your finishing touches, preview the post, it should look clean and professional. Now we can talk about the affiliate part. There are many affiliate programs, but I am using Amazon because it is easy and has a massive product selection. Sign up for Amazon Associates. I'm not walking you through the full sign up, but there is one important step. When Amazon does ask for your website, copy your site URL from the browser and paste it into the website list. This tells Amazon where your traffic comes from. Once your account is set up, go to Amazon and search for a product related to your content. In this case, something like a soil moisture meter for indoor plants. Choose a relevant product that actually makes sense in context. Now on the product page, click get link and copy your affiliate link. 
Now, before adding the link, add a short disclaimer at the top of your blog post saying that some links are affiliate links. This is very important for transparency. Now find a relevant sentence in your text, highlight it, click insert link and paste your affiliate link. If the full URL shows up instead of the clean text, click edit, open the link settings and manually change the link text so it blends naturally into the sentence. Go ahead and publish and post and preview it. Click the link to make sure it goes to the correct Amazon product. And that is all there is to affiliate linking. Finally, let us talk about SEO. Go back to the WordPress dashboard, install Yoast SEO and activate it. Click on Yoast SEO and follow the initial setup prompts. Yoast handles most of this automatically. Now, go back to your blog post and scroll down to the Yoast SEO section. Here you can edit the meta description, which is what people see in search results. Keep it short and clear, like winter care for houseplants explained. Yoast will tell you what you are doing right and what needs improvement. It also checks readability, sentence length, transitions, and structure. If it suggests adding subheadings or breaking up long sections, go ahead and do that. These small changes help your content rank better. Using Yoast gives you an advantage over people who ignore SEO completely. And that pretty much wraps up today's video. If anything was confusing or you get stuck at any point while following along, feel free to drop your questions in the comments and I'm gonna do my best to help you out. If this tutorial actually helped you understand WordPress, Elementor, or affiliate links a little better, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really does help the channel grow and lets me know that this kind of content is what you want to see. Also, don't forget, I have the Site Starters coupon code linked in the description if you want to go ahead and try the same setup that I used here and save a bit while you are getting started. Just to be clear, it's an affiliate link, so using it is a huge help to the channel and it's not going to cost you a penny more. Thanks for sticking around and watching all the way through. I definitely appreciate it. And as always, take care.